the land that we have left that goes back to Spanish land grants, Mexican land grants, 1829. The property is a liability. The government knows that and has set things to where most people won't keep it. My dad is a medical manager and a dentist who worked very hard, and he subsidizes keeping family property just because we don't own it. The government owns it with those taxes. The power to tax, the power to destroy. So here's the article on the Economic Collapse blog. It links through to all the mainstream news articles out of the USDA, the U.S. Drought Monitor, Scientific American, Associated Press, you name it, totally bibliographed. The meat crisis is here. Price of shrimp up 61%. Beef at all-time high. Pork exploding to all-time high. Bloomberg reports as well. Stories up on Infowars.com. And the media will say it's a drought. That's only a small part of it. In California, that's what's hitting a lot of the vegetables. It's that people are getting out of it everywhere, and now they're shipping beef in. But you would think that would drive down prices. No, the packers all work together. There's only five or six big companies. Last time I checked, it's probably less now. And they all throttle it and control it to keep the prices as high as possible. So... The article goes on and Bloomberg goes on to say it will now be a luxury to even have a pork chop. That's social engineering. That's the new world order. That's artificial scarcity. You want it, you got it, you live under it. Go read the article. And, and in America, we don't own our 2,000 acres in East Texas. We're just people that have lived there for a long time and still want to think we own it. We don't own that property. The government does. The foreign banks do. And it doesn't matter how many grape orchards we put in. It doesn't matter how many honeybees we put in. It doesn't matter what we do. They're not going to let us make money. They've got it all actuary down to where everybody else is selling out their property. So that we're a nation of slaves. And now they got the Marines and the Army training against people wearing John Deere caps and overalls to kill them when they say, we're not paying the taxes like Bundy, we're done, we're not leaving, it's our property, they're going to send in the Marines and the Army. And you know what? The people are going to stand up against it. And the Marines are going to end up defecting over to the side of the American people. If we talk to the Marines and the Army now and have a public debate about this, we will change it. We will change history. But I wanted to take you full circle from the Army and the Marines training to fight what? Rural communities. Because a country boy can survive. Because we can skin a buck. We can run a trot line. Because you can't starve us out and you can't make us run. Because these old boys were raised on shotguns. We say grace. We say amen. And if you ain't in, down with that, what's the exact words? If you ain't into that, or the modern parlance would be, if you ain't down with that, then we don't give a you-know-what. And we say grace, we say amen. If you're not into that, well, you know we don't give a damn. And, and that's what it comes down to is they know we won't sell out. They know we won't compromise anymore. We've been pushed too far. And so they train for open treason. What did Obama say? Bitter clingers in a secret meeting with billionaires and million-dollar donors. Who are they talking about? We're going to get these Christians clinging to their Bibles and their guns. We're shutting them down. We're shutting off their power plants. We're shutting down their jobs. We're shutting down their roads. We're shutting down their communities. We're buying off their preachers. We're training the military to go up against them. We got the cities. We got the kids. This is our country. We're going to take them down. Who did the weathermen say they were going to put 50 million Americans? They said rural people. Rural people. Rural people who aren't in there watching their dish network all day and drinking whiskey. Most of the rural people are just absolutely devastated wrecks. But uh, there are a hardcore working group out there that's still hanging on and that the system knows is already not. Look, it's a duty now if you're rural and hanging on by your toenails to not pay as much as you can. You, you, to survive, you got to get out of the system. That's why they're harassing. Farmers markets and Amish and Mennonites and poor minority groups setting up farms and Mexican farmers that are in this country. 
because they know communities have been formed of swap meets and groups and barter is now getting shut up and people in rural areas are working together. And so under Northcom and the rural affairs system, it says the Pentagon's over it. They are designing the rollout for the total takeover of rural areas with clergy response team spies, with local enviro spies, all of it. And when you see these people come to your town, they are literally Rockefeller and Ford Foundation above CIA to take your town over and take you down. And it is your duty, ladies and gentlemen, to keep this country going and to survive and thrive and to have strong families and put in gardens. And it's your duty when you see people selling vegetables on the side of the road to buy from them. And it's your duty to find that organic milk from the Amish. And it's your duty to raise a garden. And it's your duty out there, folks, in little steps to get off their system and to set up off the grid systems. That's why they're shutting down lemonade stands, shutting down city markets. They want you in a giant reservation. They don't want you self-sufficient, just like they shut down the Comanche and the Arapaho. We'll be right back. Understand that we're losing our humanity. And the globalists know that whether it's Mexico or whether it's in Southern Nevada, or whether it's in rural France, it's the farmers and the ranchers that burned down the GMO crops. It's the farmers and ranchers that kicked the butts of the riot police. It's the farmers and the ranchers that won't back down. They're scared of that, ladies and gentlemen. That's why they're training to wage war on us. We need to wage info war on their operatives who belong to us. So they're on the right side. All right, second hour coming up. I'm your host, Alex Jones. Infowars.com! Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com.